this is Katie. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I cover my windows when I'm sleeping in my car. So a lot of you guys know that I've lived in this little Toyota Yaris on and off for the last nine years, and that means that I've slept in my car hundreds and hundreds of times. And I get asked quite often how I cover my windows while I'm sleeping. And while I've shown that in several of my nighttime routines and like daily vlogs in the past, I don't think I've ever done a dedicated video just all about how I cover my windows while I'm sleeping. And so if you're interested in this topic, I really hope that you're subscribed and I hope that you keep watching. Okay, so when I go park my car to sleep, the first few things that I do, I shut my car off, I make sure that my lights are off, and I make sure that my doors are locked. And then basically the next thing that I do is I cover my windows. So I personally cover my windows to block out the light and for privacy. I don't have my windows tinted. I really never saw a reason for me personally to have my windows tinted. Even if I had my windows tinted, I know I'd wanna cover them anyway. And so I just don't really see it necessary for me. So I'm just gonna walk you through the way that I cover my windows when I'm sleeping in my car. And this is the way that I've covered them for years years and it's just what works for me using the things that I already own. I really only had to purchase a couple things to do this, but there are other ways, you know, there are literally like magnetic curtain things. I think that you could cover your windows. There's ways that you can put like a little rod here and have like curtains. I know some people who have like that, like insulation or styrofoamy kind of stuff and they have it actually cut out to fit right in their windows. You know, there's a ton of ways, but I do it a little bit differently than that. So if you want to cover your windows the same way that I do, do, let me show you the products that you will need. Okay, so the things that I use to cover my windows are t-shirts, just any t-shirt. Um, I also use little quick dry towels and I use these pins. Can you see my ceiling? See all those pins that I have up there? So those are obviously for decoration. It's kind of like, you know, like having pictures on my wall in a house or things on my fridge or something like that. I have a bunch of pins and patches, but I also use the pins to cover my windows as well. And then the last thing that I use is one of these window shades, one of these like sun shades or whatever they're called. Okay, so let me start with this. Generally when I get in my car, again, I like almost immediately cover my windows. So the first thing that I would do is I would put this on the windshield. Um, this one comes in two pieces and I like this in particular because it would fit really like most sizes of windshield. So let me just kind of put you over here. So then I can just show you really quickly that I would put this up here. For this one in particular, I put it like this and then I just spread it out. Can you see that? And then I will put my visors down to kind of hold it, but it also just holds behind here. So it kind of leans back there a little bit and then this kind of holds it as well. And so that's how I cover my front windshield. Takes two seconds, super, super easy. Yes, this is still open, you know, and there's a couple little spaces over here, but I don't really mind that. I don't really care about that very much. Um, I just care that most of my windshield is covered. So that's how the front would be. Okay, I guess, no, I'm gonna take it down just cause the lighting might get weird. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is also how I would close it in the morning, FYI, but anyway. Okay, is the lighting a little better? Okay, so I just keep that right behind my seat. I got that in a pack from Amazon that also came with ones for all the windows. And so this is what the front window ones look like. So these, the reason that I don't just use these, the reason that I use t-shirts and these is because these don't cover my front window. <laughs> like there's a lot of space that it does not cover. But because of the shape of this, I do like to use this to cover that little corner up there, okay? But I'll show you that in a second because I cover most of the window with a t-shirt. And so I like using t-shirts versus purchasing curtains or purchasing anything that is specifically for the windows. Again, besides these, these don't take up a lot of space. I'm okay having these. But besides this, I'm okay using the t-shirts and the quick dry towels because I already own them and because they do a really, really, really good job in covering. Um, I'm just one of those people, I would rather use what I already own in as many ways as possible. Like I've never even really considered getting anything different than using these. So. What I do is I take a t-shirt, this is a Handy Dandy Friends t-shirt that I have, and then I will take some of the pins that I have on my ceiling. Again, I have a million up here. So I'll just take some of those. I take the t-shirt long way. So like here's the top of the shirt, here's the bottom. I use it long way. And I take the pin, let me see if I can like show you pretty close up. I take the pin 
And these are these like slidey pins. I call them the slidey pins. That's their technical name. They do have a clasp, but I don't use a clasp. Forget that it's there. You don't need it. You just need the slidey part. So if you're going to do this, don't get the pins that have the little push thing on the back. You don't need those. You just need the slidey pins and you're going to ignore the clasp. Okay. So it's really just this pin right here that you're going to need. So what you're going to do is you're just going to stick that through a part of the shirt. I kind of do like this corner and then this corner. So I just stuck it through, okay? Just stuck it through like that. And then what I do, because my ceiling is fabric. I think most ceilings are fabric, right? So let me angle you up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. The ceiling is fabric, right? And so all I need to do is take that pin and slide it through the ceiling. I don't have to clasp it, I don't have to do anything. I just have to slide it down. And then just, you know, gravity does its thing and it just holds. And so I do the same thing over here. The lighting is gonna drastically change, but that's because I'm covering the windows and the sun is my source of light. Um, but hopefully you can still see and get an idea. So you can either do like the two-step process of taking this, putting it through, and then putting it up here. Or you can make it into a one-step process if you want and then just, you know, put this up here. I guess it's still a two-step process. <laughs> But you can either put the pin in first and then attach it, or you can just push this here and just put the pin right in. Just slide it right down and then it just holds up. And then what I do is I take another pin and I'll attach it on the bottom so that it's not swinging around and so that this has a place to hold on to. So again, with the t-shirts, this is not fabric. So I don't really have a way to easily cover this with a t-shirt, right? This whole section. So what I do is I take this and I just put it right in here. And it covers the whole thing. It covers it literally perfectly. There's like a little inch of space down here. But besides that, it covers the whole thing. This just kind of leans. And this has the pin on the top and the pin on the bottom. Can you see it? Right here. Pin on the bottom. And so that just holds it in place so this is not swinging around. And so that this holds. And so then I would do the same thing over here. You know, depending on if I'm sleeping in the front seat or if I'm sleeping in the back seat, that's gonna depend where I pin the rest of the t-shirts and the quick dry towels. If I'm sleeping in the back seat, I will cover every window, like properly the exact window. If I'm sleeping in the front seat and I'm just leaning my seat back, I will not cover the back window. I will just hang a curtain from right here. And so I'll just kind of show you the same thing that I do with the quick dry towels. When you're living in a car, I think it's a really good idea to have a quick dry towel for showering, you know, because they're a lot thinner than a regular towel and they also dry a lot quicker. And so they just take up less space and they just dry quicker. And so with the towels, same thing, just push it right through. And it is a very tiny hole, but I would not recommend using like your nicest t-shirts for this. You know, this is kind of more just your everyday kind of t-shirt because it might leave a tiny little bit of a hole, but so anyway, say I'm sleeping in the front seat. Put you back here, angle you a little bit differently. So if I'm sleeping in the front seat, my it would be back further than this, but you'll get the idea. So I, instead of going all the way back there to cover that back window, I would just kind of put up a little covering right here. So I would just slide this through the ceiling. And even though it's not going down, it's still going across. And just the way that it hangs, it still holds it. It just still holds it. And so I would do that. And then, you know, can you see over here? Yeah, so I would just put this through here and then slide it here and then take this, you know, and I would just make sure to kind of measure it so that this would be over here and this would cover this way, you know, so that this would all be kind of covered at the same way. So do this. Usually I would leave a little bit more slack here and I would kind of like over, um, like cover these. What word am I thinking of? crossover whatever you know what I mean um, and then I would just kind of keep pinning hanging pinning and then I would just kind of pin those in and then I would just do that all the way around and 
I'm explaining this as much as I can to show you guys all the details that I'm doing, but if I'm not explaining it, if I'm not talking it out, if I am just putting all these things up in my car, it takes two to three minutes to cover my whole car with the t-shirts and the quick dry towels. So it's a very, very quick process. And again, it's using things that I already own. And so I don't have extra things in my car except for these, but these, um, when they're closed are very, very small. And I have room right back here where I put them. So besides these, everything else is stuff that I already use use and already own. And so I did not have to spend a ton of money and I don't have to waste a lot of extra space. And so for me, those are the things that I like about this process. So I would just kind of do this all around my car, you know, so I'd have another towel or t-shirt over here and then the front would be covered with the, one of these things. And then that would be it. And then I would go to sleep, but quickly, this is how I would take all this down, right? You just take the pins out. I put them just back on my ceiling as decoration. This, I usually take these two and twirl them back up together. That takes two seconds. And then I just put that back here, take the pins off, put them back up here. And again, if I'm not talking and not explaining it, this process just takes a couple minutes. And these pins I've kind of collected like all over the country. Um, I might do a video showing you guys all the pins and patches on my ceiling. That's like one of the only things that I collect when I'm living in my car. And then some of them are like really old, like band pins. So then I just fold these back up and I just keep all these t-shirts and the towels right behind my seat where I keep all the rest of my sleeping stuff. You know, so my blankets, my pillows, my pajamas, stuff like that. And so in the morning, this is what I would do. Just take these, fold these back up real quick. And then in the morning, I would just do that and then I would leave. You know, the thing with when you're sleeping in a public place is a little bit different if you're sleeping like at a campground or something. But if you're sleeping in a public parking lot, I really do recommend when you get there, you set up, you go to sleep, you wake up, you take everything down and you leave. I just kind of recommend being as stealth as possible, as respectful as possible of the place that you're staying at. And also just, I think that's just a level of safety. I don't cover my windows to hide the fact that someone's sleeping in this car. I just think it adds a level of safety. If someone cannot see who is sleeping in your car. So that's why I do it like that. So anyway, just fold these back up and then I will put them right back here. And so I think that that's it. I just wanted to do a very dedicated video showing you guys how I personally cover my windows right before I'm about to go sleep in my car. So if you live in your car or you've ever slept in your car, let me know in the comments how you cover your windows. Cause I'm really curious, but I'm also sure that other people watching this video are gonna be curious of how other people cover their windows as well. But that's just how I do it. And that's how I've always done it. And it works for me. And so I just wanted to show you guys in this video, I really hope that you enjoyed. And if you have any other questions about sleeping in your car or living in your car, please let me know in the comments, but also please feel free to check around my YouTube channel. I have over 600 videos and a lot of them are dedicated to living and sleeping in a car. But if you want to see me do any other dedicated videos on any other sleeping in a car or living in a car topics, please let me know in the comments. But I think that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and I hope that you're following me on Instagram as well. But yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks again. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.